Hey y'all, so Dustin here. Um, so I get this question a lot. Why am I not losing weight on keto? Or why am I plateauing and can't get, can't get away from it? Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you've had to, if you need to lose more than 20 pounds for more than two years, there's a good chance you're metabolically inefficient, meaning you're not, your body doesn't utilize energy very well and you don't metabolize fat very efficiently. And you're like, no kidding, Dustin. That's why I gain weight easy. Yes, I'm like that also. And what the challenge is, is there's actually a switch in your body that needs to be switched on that's probably been switched off. And unfortunately that switch has been switched off for probably quite a few years. When we are if you're an 80s baby or 70s baby or even a 60s baby and a 90s baby, basically if you're born, if you're alive, you've been exposed to excessive carbohydrate consumption compared to our ancestors. And because of this, it's slipped off, it's turned off this GLUT4 transporter um, that actually doesn't allow your body to, to be as efficient. And unfortunately, when that's off, you don't even produce ketones that well. So, so paint this picture. You're now not, you don't do well with carbohydrates. You gain fat really fast, right? But you feel like crap. So then you do a ketogenic diet or a low carb variation or try to go as low carb as you can. And now you don't have any glucose or carbohydrates to use for fuel. You're hoping that your body's producing ketones, but what if it's not? What if you're not producing ketones efficiently and fast enough? Well, it's not about losing weight now, it's about energy to your brain, because ketones are a very, very primary fuel source for the brain energy and your muscle, even your muscle system, your heart loves ketones. So, but if you're not producing enough, you're basically starving. So now your body has fat, but it can't use it very well because the switch has been turned off. And you don't have any other, you don't have glucose or any other food sources coming in. So you just are basically depleting yourself. There's a good chance if you're plateaued, your energy levels are not that good. You're sleeping not that well. You kind of feel grumpy. You're probably a little bit short on, you're short and moody. Most likely, I'll talk about it if you feel good and you're not losing weight, I'll talk about that in a second. So most likely, it's because your ketone levels aren't able to produce. Now, here's the unfortunate thing. Most likely, you'll never, I said that a lot, there's a good chance you're, you're probably not gonna get to your result because you have to commit probably six months to a year of mastering the ketogenic diet and you'd have to force exercise really aggressively, which I don't recommend if you're, especially if you need to lose 50 pounds or more, because it's not worth the joint wear and tear. And so you would have to start forcing your body to produce more ketones, almost like a survival state. Well, that's not sustainable. And therefore you're probably gonna quit anyway. So if you don't commit to that six months to a year, you're not gonna turn the switch back on. Once the switch turns on, the body can metabolize fat better, your brain feels happier, your, everything's working better. So that's why we've been drinking ketones. Um, I, I don't know if I said this already, but I, I work with Prove It very closely and, and I love what this does because we can drink ketones, get your ketone levels up, which turns the switch back on, even if you screw up on the diet, and allows your brain to work, your mood better, your energy better, and then lets you start to become more efficient, knowing that you're probably gonna mess up. Knowing that the holidays or birthdays are gonna come all along the way and you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna stumble. But guess what? When your brain has ketones and you're fed and you feel good, you're willing to get back on the horse. You're willing to get back going in the right direction. So I just wanted to be the first to tell you that if you can't lose weight or you're having a hard time with it or you're obese or you're weight challenged, it's not your fault. It's not my fault that I don't metabolize carbs very well. I can blame my mom and my ancestors, but I'm not gonna do that. Genetically, maybe I'm built that way. I'm built for power, not endurance. My wife can eat whatever the heck she wants and she doesn't seem to gain weight that fast. So she can piss off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the point is, is that it already is done. It's in the past, but we can change it moving forward. You have decisions that you can make that are gonna shift your life forever. Now, I don't think you're gonna be successful without drinking ketones long-term. I just, I've seen it over five years now, watched literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people's lives completely transform by just drinking ketones and then getting on and off the horse till they learn how their body works and learn how their system works and they get the results and maintain it. Now, if you're doing everything right and you're not one of those people that need to get, you know, that have gained more than 20 pounds for two years and you feel great, you're like, I feel amazing on keto, but I'm not losing any body fat. This is probably what's going on is you probably increased your fat intake rapidly and too quickly. Remember, the ketogenic diet was originally developed for really cognition and epilepsy and, and brain function. It wasn't really designed for fat loss. So they were never tracking, I mean, they were tracking their, 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 their body composition, but remember, they also would lose a little bit of muscle mass if they didn't do it right. So there was also a concern there. They were really tracking their brain function and their health. So if you're if you're you feel good on keto, you may just need to, to lower your fat a little bit. Maybe you're a little bit off. Don't trust the the measuring tools. Don't trust like uh, calipers. Don't trust uh, or sorry your apps like your 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 apps that tell you what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat. Trust you. Eat when you're hungry. Stop when you're full. 
Don't increase your fat intake rapidly, but don't be afraid of fat. And let that be your guide. Now, if you're starting to lean out really well and you're looking really good, increase your protein and increase your fat a little bit, but just little by little and see if you get results then. So I hope this helps. If you guys like this, subscribe to my channel, check this out. Um, there's a bunch of good information. My website's down below. And, and if you want to drink ketones, just let me know down below. I'll have a link for that too. And um, let's change your life. You can do this. I promise. Cheers, y'all. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Just subscribe below if you want all the updates when we upload the newest videos on keto health, wellness, vitality. Check it out. Come join us.